Hey there everyone and welcome to this lesson on how to find the volume and surface area of a cube. And we'll start off by asking a few key questions. What are the properties of a cube? How can you find the volume of a cube? And how can you find the surface area of a cube? So let's go ahead and explore these three questions a little bit more in depth. Now, before we learn how to find volume and surface area of cubes, we need to know all about the key properties of cubes. So let's start off with a definition that says that a cube is a box-shaped, three-dimensional figure that has six identical square faces. And the key word here is square. Each face is a four-sided figure with four right angles and four sides that all have the same length. So we can conclude that in a cube, all of the sides, also known as edges, have the same length. So in this case, we're gonna call that length S. And now we are ready to explore the difference between the volume of a cube and the surface area of a cube. The volume of a cube is the number of cubes it would take to completely fill the inside of the figure. So we can think of volume as the total number of unit cubes it would take to completely fill up the inside of a cube. The surface area of a cube is the total area of all of the faces on the outside of the figure. So volume was inside, surface area is outside. And we can think of surface area like all of the space we would need to paint on the outside of a cube if we wanted to paint it completely one color. So now that we understand the difference between volume and surface area, let's go ahead and look at some formulas that we can use to solve problems. And now we are ready to take a look at the formulas for finding the volume and surface area of a cube. So when we have a cube with side length s, the volume is equal to the sides cubed, or s to the third power. And remember that volume is measured in cubic units. And for surface area, surface area is equal to 6 times s squared, so 6 times the length of the side squared. And remember that surface area is measured in square units. So let's keep these formulas in mind as we go ahead and work through a few practice problems. All right, so here's our first example where we have to find the volume and surface area of a cube with a side length of four centimeters. So in this example, our value for S is just four since every side length of this cube equals four. Now to find the volume and surface area of this cube, we are going to use our formulas. So let's start off with volume. Again, the volume formula is that V equals S cubed. So in this case, V equals four cubed. And four cubed is equal to four times four times four, which we know is equal to 64. And so the volume of this cube is 64 cubic centimeters. The next thing that we have to do is find the surface area. And again, we're going to use a formula. The surface area formula says that surface area equals six times S squared, or six S squared, where S is equal to the side length of the cube. In this example, it is four. So instead of six times S squared, we have six times four squared. And now we can just work this out. 6 times 4 squared, we know that 4 squared is equal to 16. So the surface area equals 6 times 16, which is equal to 96. So the surface area of this cube is 96 centimeters squared. 
So in future examples, the value for s will always be different, but the formulas will always stay the same. So as long as you understand how to apply the formulas, you'll be able to solve problems involving finding the volume and surface area of a cube. So let's go ahead and take a look at one more example. So in this second example, we have to find the volume and surface area of a cube-shaped box with a height of 9 inches. Since we are dealing with a cube in this problem, we know that all of the side lengths will be equal to 9. So in this example, our value for s is 9. And now we are ready to go ahead and use that value for s in the volume and surface area of a cube formulas, and we can solve this problem. So let's start off with volume. Volume equals s to the third power, in this case 9 to the third power. We know that 9 times 9 times 9 is equal to 729, and we can conclude that the volume of the box is equal to 729 cubic inches. And now the last thing that we have to do is find the surface area of the box. And we know that surface area equals 6 s squared. In this case, s again is equal to 9, so surface area equals 6 times 9 squared. So we know that 9 squared is equal to 81, so the surface area is equal to 6 times 81. And 6 times 81 is equal to 486, and we can conclude that the surface area of the box is equal to 486 square inches. And that's all there really is to it when it comes to finding the volume and surface area of a cube. If you understand the formulas, it's pretty straightforward. So now I'm going to leave you with one more practice problem that you can try on your own just to practice a little bit more, and I'll see you guys all soon. Hi everyone, Anthony here one last time. Hope you found that lesson to be helpful. And if you want to help us out, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. We're committed to adding new video lessons every week, and now would be the time to subscribe. So I really hope that you would consider it. And also, don't miss your chance to download your free practice worksheet that's included with this video lesson. Just click the link in the description below and you can get your download. Hope to see you all soon. Bye.